Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy's World. I'm Tracy, and yup, my friends call me Willie. So I'm about to do one of the things that I really love doing, and that is grilling. Yes, I love to grill. I will grill, I don't care. Winter, snow, sleet, hail, fall, it don't matter. Year round, I'm a grill. I will grill in the blizzard as long as the fire don't go out, the coals go out, I'm good. Anyway, that's what we get ready to do. We get ready to grill. I'll show y'all some of my techniques. No, I'm not a professional griller. And no, this is not set in stone. This is just how Willie grills. So we're going to call these episodes of Grilling, Grilling with Willie. So don't you go nowhere. Stay tuned. All right, so what am I going to grill? That's your question. I got the answer. Bam. We're going to grill some asparagus. My husband loves these, so, well, I do too. But we're going to grill these. We're going to cut the tips off. We're going to put olive oil on them, some seasoning, garlic seasoning, onion powder, all kind of good seasoning. We're going to throw these on the grill. What else am I going to grill? Bam! Some hot dogs. I'm not picky. It don't have to be all beef because I can eat pork too. What's next? I got me some chicken wings. Booyah! Yeah. And then in the refrigerator freezer all lonesome by itself we're gonna grill his sausage because i know he's tired of being by himself see i wrapped him up in the fall just to keep him uh nice so we're gonna grill his sausage too yeah and guess what i'm gonna do with him i'm gonna cut him up in little slithers and that's how we're gonna eat him yeah, you ain't got to worry about it. You're going to be by yourself for long. You're going to join the chicken and asparagus real soon in my stomach. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to wash these off. Or rinse them off is really what I'm going to do. The way I do them is I rinse them off. I cut the stem, the bottom of it off. And I let them dry. I don't like my asparagus soggy. I like them crispy. Now what I have here, bam, is my broiler pan top. What I'm going to do, place them on here. I'm going to cut the ends off. People always say, well, how far do you know how to cut? I cut until I don't see that white no more. Personally, I just like the tip. That's all I like. So I'm going to cut it about right here. Yeah, about right there. I know you wasted about half of it, but you know what? I don't care. Because I don't eat way down there. There you go. I don't see no reason for these flats, so I cut them off. Gotta have a good knife, though. Don't cut your fingers. You should be rinsing your chicken off because if you know what this chicken go through to get in the grocery store, I'm telling you. I used to work in a chicken plant. I did before I became a nurse. I worked in the boning. You know how when y'all eat y'all boneless breasts? And if you ever, if you eat boneless thighs, that was what I did. I know how to bone, to bone a whole chicken and a turkey. Different bird, but they're built the same. All right, now what type of season do I use? I use anything. Mm -hmm. I don't have no particular way or particular type of season. I like to try different stuff. Today, when I grill, do some olive oil. Just gonna swish, go around it, that's all. Now, I'm going to tell you a little technique to grilling. You season your food first. Then you go up there and get your charcoals together and let them warm up. Because while your charcoal's warming up for about 20 minutes, maybe, tops, this is getting good and marinated. All right, so that's that. Here's the garlic. Onion powder. And I, I'm pretty liberal with my um my seasonings. My season salt. 
this is my Adobe. I love this stuff, man. My Cajun seasoning. And then I got some paprika. Bam! Mix it all up. Don't be scared to touch it with your fingers. And I'm gonna tell you something. I use bleach in my water. So I know some of y'all saying, well, you got your rings on while you're messing with the chicken. I sure do. Because my rings go right in that bleachy water when I get to wash my dishes. All right, so I'm gonna lay this flat. I'm laying on flat. And make sure you get your feathers off. See, if you don't wash your chicken, you're gonna have, first of all, you're gonna have germs on it. Second of all, you gonna have feathers. Don't nobody want you no feathers. All right, so I'm gonna move this art the way I've dried my, washed my hands, dried them. I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator until it's time for me to grill it. Now, what's next? I'm gonna roll out some aluminum foil. Bam. And so we got the asparagus nice and dry. Olive oil. You can be liberal. Olive oil is one of the best oils to cook with. Adobe, onion powder, garlic, these are going directly on the grill. They won't fall through. Not with the type of grill we have. And did you know you can eat these raw? They ain't really raw, but these are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm, that's good. All right, so I done washed my hands. I done seasoned my asparagus. I got the chicken in the refrigerator waiting. Let's go out here and start these charcoals. Come on, go with me. Anyway, I, I gotta tell you something now. I don't like to use nothing but Kingsford. Nope, I'm not endorsing it. Nope is not paying me to do this video. Kingsford Coles, and bam, Kingsford Lighter Fluid. Just my preference, not set in stone. Spread them out so that you know they're gonna be even. Take my lighter fluid, now this ain't for wimps. If you scared to get your hands dirty, you ain't no real griller. I'm sorry, don't judge me. After you spread that on, you pile them up. We'll put some more. Booyah. So then, you gotta get your lighter, and I recommend one of these. When I see white on the coals, I'm gonna spread the coals out. All right, since I got my coals where I want them. So what I'm gonna do is spread them all out. I make them even. All right, here's the chicken, guys. So I'm gonna put the grill down. I'm gonna close this up. I lock it. All right, so we're halfway through. Ooh, they smell good too. All right, guys, let's see what this other side looks like. All right, so I got my barbecue sauce. I mixed two of them together. I use Sweet Baby Ray's. And then I also love Famous Dave. All right guys, so I got my, my casserole dish. And this thing is sentimental to me guys. This was my grandmother's. She passed away not too long ago. So every time I use this, um, I really get touched. Alright guys, that's it. 
This is Willing with Willie. I'm Tracy, aka Willie. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Like my video and subscribe to it. I'll talk to you later. I'm about to eat. Yep. Good. I'm telling you.